J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 College of Technology Mathematics questionnaire. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. This is the third question for the problem where we are given two curves, C1 and C2, and we are asked to find the area. Of the region bounded by C1, C2, and the common tangent L. In the previous two questions, we have been asked to find the intersection between C2 and C1 and the equation of L. In this problem, the first step is to sketch the given curves and the tangent L. Here we sketch the curves. The yellow curve is C1, the green curve is C2. From problem 3, 1, we know that they intersect at this point 1, 3. From problem 3, 2, we know that this common tangent line, which is depicted in blue, is given by this equation. Now we are asked to find the area. Of the pink region. To facilitate the solution, we divide the pink region into a region to the left of the intersection and the region to the right of the intersection. Let us call the region to the left of the intersection S1 and the region to the right of the intersection S2. The total area would be the sum. Of S1 and S2. Notice that for S1, this is the area under C1 and just above L. S2 is the area under C2 and above L. Therefore, to find these areas, we need to find the integrals. For S1, we need to find the integral of the difference between the yellow curve. And the blue curve. For S2, we need to find the integral of the difference between the green curve minus the blue curve. Here we write down what we said in the previous slide. S is the sum of S1 and S2. S1 is the integral from the intersection of the tangent line and C1. To the intersection of C1 and C2, which is x equals 1. For S2, that is the area from the intersection of C1 and C2, which is x equals 1, right up to the intersection of L and C2, which we shall call x sub 2. Now we have said that for S1, that would be the integral of the difference. Between C1 and L. For S2, that will be between C2 and L. And so this will be how we will compute S1 and S2. Again, x sub 1 is the intersection of C1 and L, and x sub 2 is the intersection of C2 and L. Here we just manipulate the integral to make it easier for us to solve. We notice that S1 and S2 both h a s x squared minus x and plus one fourth, and so we group them together and we get the integral from x1 to x2. For S1, the remaining integral would just be 2x, and so we get that integral from x1 to 1. And for S2, The remaining integral is negative 4x plus 6, so we get that integral from 1 to x2. And then we just solve the antiderivative of this. We get this. For this, we get this. And for this, we obtain this. Now we just have to replace x2 and x1 with their appropriate values. Now we solve. x1 and x2 so that we can replace them in the integral. 
x1 is the intersection of L and C1. And so we equate the y of L and the y of C1. And this is what we get. And solving this equation, we see that the solution is this. For x2, we do the same thing. We equate L, this is the y of L, and this is the y of C2. Again, we solve the quadratic equation and obtain the solution. And so, x1 is this, x2 is this. We are now ready to plug this in our integral. Here, we just plug in the values that we obtained for x1 and x2. And here we show the arithmetic for that. And eventually, we will obtain this value for s. That is the area in the bounded region. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya! Please hit subscribe.